It has been stolen. Lightning thief. Who stole it? You did. Say so what now? Hey everybody and welcome to another movie night. I'm Jackie. And today we are starting a new series Percy Jackson and the Olympians on Disney+. Plus. Now, to my knowledge, this is the second adaptation of Percy Jackson, the first being the Logan Lerman film, The Lightning Thief, and its sequel. I think I saw the first one. I have no memory of seeing the second one. And I have to admit, I also haven't read the books, which surprised me a little bit because this seems like exactly the kind of thing that I would have been reading when I was in middle school and high school. And I think this came out maybe the tail end of when I was in high school, and I must have just missed the boat on it. And I know I saw the first movie, but I haven't seen it since it came out. I have very few memories of it, aside from a moment that I think might have been in the trailer that was Logan Lerman just going, this is a pen. Like, that's all I remember. That is, <laughs> that image is burned in my brain, but it's all I remember. Now, obviously, Percy Jackson exists in pop culture. I know it's a young adult series about Greek mythology. I believe the kids are all demigods or they're the children of Greek gods or something like that. I know that's the general idea of them. I don't know any of the specifics. I don't know any of the plot points, but I do know that Rick Riordan, who wrote the original series, is a co-showrunner on this, which makes me really excited because the last adaptation I watched where the original creator was a co-showrunner was The Last of Us. And I think we can all agree that went pretty well. So I have high hopes for this. I'm watching this the day that it comes out, the first two episodes dropped on Disney Plus today, and I've already seen really, really positive headlines about it. I haven't read any reviews. I didn't want to know anything going into this, but... I admit I do have high hopes. Oh, and I think I saw somewhere that Logan Lerman sent a note to the cast or something, basically passing the torch and encouraging them, wishing them the best. I don't know the specifics of it, but the fact that he did that says a lot about him. I think it is incredibly sweet. But things like that make me a lot more excited to watch this because seeing positivity around a franchise is always incredibly encouraging. So with all the hype, I'm really excited to get into this and find out what we're in for. I will be watching the first two episodes today since they both dropped on Disney+. Plus. And since I don't want to wait any longer, I'm not going to make you guys wait any longer. We're going to get into this, but before we do, as always, Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Percy Jackson, the original book series, on the Logan Lerman films, on obviously the Disney Plus series that we're about to watch. I'd love to hear your personal experiences with this series, but also your opinions on it as an adaptation. As someone who hasn't read the books, I'm really curious to hear what the diehard fans think about it. Redder is better, so hit what may or may not be a big red subscribe button, depending on your browser, and check me out on Patreon for the full-length version of this reaction, as well as all of my other content. If you're curious what's available on Patreon, I have teasers for all of those exclusives in my YouTube shorts, so go ahead and check those out. And of course, links to my Instagram and other socials are in the description box below, so don't forget to check me out there. I think that's all I need to cover for this intro, so on that note, let's get into Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Most of the time, being a half-blood gets you killed. Oh dear. In painful, nasty ways. That sounds like Greek mythology. Turn away while you still can. Don't say I didn't warn you. This definitely sounds like the intro to like a kid's YA sort of book. Yeah, yeah, definitely got that vibe. I'm 12 years old. Aww. Am I a troubled kid? I would assume so if you have a book series written about you. You could say that. <laughs> yep. At least I could have sworn I saw something. A horse? Oh, it's a Pegasus. These impossible things that felt like they walked right out of the stories my mom always told me. Armored rhinoceros? I'm sorry, this is the cutest child. We had a lot in common. You both have adorably curly hair. You can almost believe they were imaginary. Weird, but harmless. <laughs> uh-huh. They are not fiction. <laughs> they are not fantasies. <laughs> what you see here are the truest hearts of yourselves. Foreshadowing, maybe? <laughs> and describe it. Oh. Not just... Oh, is he dyslexic? I'm sorry. Dyslexic is the worst possible word and spelling of that word for the condition of dyslexia. <laughs> Perseus. Mm. That's me. Mm, yep. Is that why I named me after him? Because he was a hero? 
What makes you think he was a hero? Why are we not seeing her face? What makes you think that she was a monster? Good question. Not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero. Amen to not that. Not everyone who looks like a monster is a monster. Also incredibly true. Brave the storm that was <laughs> made to break us, for we are unbreakable as long as we have each other. That's adorable. Against all odds, he managed to find his way to a happy ending. Foreshadowing, maybe? Me? Do you understand me? He can't help it, Mrs. Dodds. Percy's special. Kids are so mean. Also, is that Megan Mullally? Mullally? When you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you, they'll tell you. Literally. <laughs> and I believe you'll be needing this. Oh my god, is that the pen? Is that the Logan Lerman? This is, is a, a pen. pen. That has to be. That's like the only thing I remember from the Lightning Thief movie. Hang on to that. There's a mighty instrument. God, every single word of dialogue is just foreshadowing. There are all sorts of schools of thought about what drives that kind of bullying. I get the nastiest issues. I'm just getting tired of her taking them out on me. <laughs> yeah, does the tree really care why the axe is cutting it down? You could make an appointment to see Mr. Kane. He's really good at talking to I was thinking more like shoving Nancy in the nearest dumpster. That might be a slight overreaction, but I understand. One thing I know about bullies is that you should never, ever stand up to them. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I'm with Percy. We're not going to be here forever. True. There are better places out there. Also true. It does get... Oh! Oops. You are giving redheads a bad name, and I don't appreciate it. Oh my goodness. At least it wasn't a snake sanctuary at a zoo. Is Thanos coming? What's happening? Oh. What the? It's not a pen. Percy Jackson. This is Dodds. You okay? Bad vibes. Bad vibes from this lady. Jill. What the f nugget? I mean, that was really cool and really well done, but I'm sorry, does nobody else see this? Thank you to. <laughs> Make another reference to Thanos, you know, just. Where's Mrs. Dodds? Who's Mrs. Dodds? There's no one here by that name. Yeah, I would think I was going crazy. I would absolutely think I was going crazy. Yep. Yet you have offered no explanation for how she ended up in that fountain, other than I didn't touch Nancy. I mean, technically he didn't. Now, anything else you'd like to say for yourself? Oh my God, the blue in his shirt is making his eyes- I didn't touch Nancy. He didn't, but the blue in his shirt is making his eyes pop so much. Mr. Underwood, do you have anything to add? Yes. I'm sorry, what? Go on. Don't you dare. He wanted to get back at Nancy. Don't and you. he isn't being truthful about what happened at the fountain. Grover. Oh no, you little snitch. Oh no, you didn't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You stick by your friend. Yes. <gasps> I did. Oh, you just broke the bro code? No, no, we ain't cool. We ain't cool anymore, no. Even your adorable curly hair. Nope. I'm very concerned about you, Percy. I saw what happened at the museum. Really? Wait, did you see everything that happened at the museum? Do you want to tell me what you think did happen? Yeah. You can tell me. I might just understand. Something tells me he just might. <laughs> you are special. <laughs> so much more so than you know. <laughs> oh, the foreshadowing. This man definitely has wise old sage mentor vibes. I like him. Hey, Eddie. Sorry about that. I'm walking out. You're walking in. I should be apologizing to you. Aww. That's kind and sad all at the same time. <laughs> the symmetry of all these shots. We've had some really, really beautiful symmetrical shots so far. Failing out of school? You answer mom's cell? I answer whatever's ringing. I don't like you. 
If you're gonna live under my roof, you gotta live by my rules. My mom is the only one employed here. <laughs> you would think that because you're a child. You don't understand things Where's like- Where's my mom? That's right, you're a kid. You don't know anything. Sarcasm? Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Useless. The socks with sandals might be the most offensive thing about that entire situation. She's sitting out in the rain? She's sitting out in the rain. Okay. You do you. I've been trying, but this time it really wasn't my fault. It really wasn't my fault. He told me what he thinks happened with Nancy Bobo Fit. I told him I believe my kid. Hmm, good for you. Good mom. Is there something else you want to talk about? Is there? Something has been happening to me. Puberty. My mind wandering and it got worse and... She looks... I'm scared. She looks scared too. This man, I just, I, I just, with this man, this is not a healthy relationship that you're modeling for Percy. Pack your bag, let's go. Oh, okay. Keep cutting to black, like there would be commercials or something. Oh, Storm, she mentioned Storm. You know, I think Disney really pulled out all the stops with advertising because it's pouring rain outside right now. Who are you? What in the Voldemort? Run away, little hero, before you get hurt. What in the Grim Reaper? Yeah, I would think I was going crazy. Like, that's... We're here. Is she crying? This whole thing just has such an ominous child-friendly ominous. The production value on this is spectacular. Also the casting of him versus younger him. Were they brothers or something? Because absolutely incredible casting. I need to talk to you about something. These actors are so expressive. I love the nonverbal acting. I try to pay attention and I really try, but then I'm daydreaming. Sounds like you have ADHD, kid. It hasn't felt like daydreaming. It's felt more real. She doesn't seem surprised by this. What do you know? You saw something. Yep. Real to you, but no one else could see. Exactly. What did she say to you? How did you know it was a she? You've been waiting for this day. Thing I we saw. come to this place every year because this is the place I met your father. Oh. What does my dad have to do with this? Everything? Your dad is a Greek god? <laughs> From the moment I first saw him, I knew that I had never met a man like him before. <laughs> he keeps emphasizing the word man here. <laughs> because he wasn't a man. Yep. He was a god. Well, there it is. Literally, not metaphorically. <laughs> you fell in love with God? Like Jesus? <laughs> the stories that I have told you about Greek gods, they are real, Mom. I'm beginning to realize crazy is genetic. Sometimes they are known as half-bloods. Oh, oh. That's what the monster called me. You sell the half-blood! This is crazy. Hey, okay? I'm not a god. There is something wrong with my brain. And I know for certain that there is no such thing as demigods. Who's there? I wouldn't be so sure. Grover. Grover? What? What is he doing here? I don't want to see him. Is it really? Or is it someone pretending to be Grover? I asked how the night you said we could all leave in the morning. I'm sorry, I'm early, but I didn't have any choice. Wait, what? Is what the I'm not panicking. Grover? Right? I'm also definitely not panicking. You are panicking. Grover! What? Oh, it's... Oh. What? You didn't tell him about me? You're early. Oh, shh. So the important thing is not to panic. <laughs> Did he get him kicked out on purpose? He mu- Oh. Ob yes, obviously. Because he's like, okay, you're manifesting. We need to get you away from here. 
It's always an emotional roller coaster for a young demigod, so providing a support system is really... Who are you? Are you not a young demigod? I'm Grover. Yeah. I'm your best friend. And what I... are you? I'm a satyr. Oh. And I'm your protector. Okay. All right. All right. Usually I can sense danger coming a mile away, but this time none of us saw Dodds coming. Oh god, oh god, what's about to hit the car? I am terrified that we can't see clearly out the windows, and he specifically said normally he can sense danger. There's just too much ominous energy happening right now. The sooner we get you to camp, the better off you're- You told him about camp, right? Not yet, no. <laughs> He knows nothing. I don't like it. See? I f called it! Is that the Minotaur? He, he is brutal. He is relentless. He is wearing underpants. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, it is! <laughs> oh, Jesus. These harsh cuts to black. Like, I keep thinking there's gonna be a commercial or something. Mama's got guts, but... Oh. Wait, if you tell me- if he loses his mom right now... Oh, this is so beautifully shot. The production value on this is spectacular. Everything about this is beautiful. You're gonna need to be brave now. Oh, the silhouetting, the lighting. Oh, this is beautiful. You are singular. You're a miracle. <laughs> you are the chosen one. Please, don't. Hey. It'll be okay. She's a good mom. At least she didn't say, I'll see you soon or we'll see each other again, because that is the writing equivalent of we will literally never see each other again. It's the Ned Stark, we'll talk about your mother next time I see you. <laughs> now! Yeah. Okay, I, I actually feel a little bit better about this. <laughs> and I really hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> Toro, Toro! <laughs> That's great. Just gotta buy him enough time. Is it Matadors? Is that what that's called? Oh no! <gasps> Humans don't do that naturally. What the f- what the f- nugget? What in the- Ten? <laughs> this is a pen! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah! Oh, shh. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you do it? Did. Oh! Damn. Oh! Huh. You got guts, kid. I'll give you that. The gold glow from the sword is the exact same gold glow as the light in the background. That's such a nice touch. Andre the Giant. This reminds me of Wesley versus Fezzik in Princess Bride. <laughs> literally! Wesley on Fezzik's back, this is literally their fight! Come on, kid! Oh, shh! Good job, kid. Killing a minotaur with its own horn. That's metal as f Everyone, give him some space, please. Is it the wise old man? Is it the- Oh my god, he's a centaur! That's why he was in the wheelchair with the blanket over his legs. He was hiding because he's a centaur. I bet you money. I bet you money. Did the mom die? Because, what's his name? The protector, the fawn, the not actually a snitch. He looked sad, like he looked actually heartbroken over it. So did she actually die? Cause that's, that's not what humans do when they die in theory. But we also didn't get any of the foreshadowing lines. So if they lulled me, if they lulled me into a false sense of security by not giving me the Ned Stark foreshadowing, we'll talk about your mother next time I see you line. I'm gonna be really sad and really annoyed cause she seemed like a good mom. But anyway, this is beautiful. This whole thing, I've literally just been sitting here mentally drooling over the visuals. This is so well shot. The production value of this is spectacular. 
every single frame, everything about this is absolutely beautiful. So beyond anything else, I'm enjoying that. Like, even if this wasn't good across the board, which it is, I'd still be sitting here going like, ooh, pretty, because it is. That being said, very well written so far, from what I can tell. Lots of foreshadowing. This very much does have the feel of a young adult novel. This definitely has the feel of a true-to-form young adult adaptation. Again, I haven't read the books, so I don't know too much about the tone of the books, whether they were more comedic and humorous. Like, I don't know the sort of soul and the tone of the books, but I definitely can see the influences of a sort of 2000s YA young adult sort of series. Like, I'm thinking of other books from around that time, things like Aragon, which we don't talk about that adaptation, but the sort of young adult kids adventure fantasy sort of genre. I can definitely see this fitting in there. From my perspective, again, I can't speak about this as an adaptation, but from my perspective so far, this is spectacular. It's fun, the script is smart, the foreshadowing is there, it's incredibly easy to follow. Again, just beautiful. Absolutely beautifully well done, and I'm glad we get to watch the second one, because I'm gonna start the second one right now. So, let's do it. You drool when you sleep. <laughs> Welcome to Thunderdome. <laughs> My job was to protect you, to get you here safely. You, not her. Hmm. I liked her. It was so important I get here because my father's a god. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go find him. Okay. Yeah, but it, it isn't that... <laughs> Simple. <laughs> it is to him. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Is that... Is that... What's his name? <gasps> it totally is! It totally is! Oh my god, hang on. From The Good Place and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, you guys know who I'm talking about. That's definitely him. Peter Johnson is here! Uh, Mr. D, camp director. Camp director. This is Percy Jackson. Yeah, Grover. I heard him the first time. <laughs> The D is for Dionysus. That's Dionysus. I need to brush up on my Greek mythology. Excuse me, your highness. <laughs> oh, I think my dad may be around here somewhere. I think I should see him. I think I really need that right now. Derek is gonna laugh in your face. Actually, I think I can. What's the, what's the twist? What's the- Son. Dad? No. No. He's clowning. I sense clowns. In the galley, there is a bottle of 1985 Chateau Aubryon. <laughs> Sweetie, you poor sweet gullible child. Yes! Called it! I mean, I'm sure we all did, but I'm still gonna feel good about it. It's a centaur and a blazer. That's new. Do I need to be worried about this guy? I like him but I don't trust anything ever anymore. Maybe I've been spending too long watching Gen V that I don't trust authority figures. You're a horse. My father won't talk to me unless I get him a drink. Totally no, normal. Oh, no, no. Mr. D is not your father. I'll say many things wrong with that sentence. Why must you ruin everything? <laughs> a plus casting already. Uh, Grover, please give us a moment. Wait, is Grover actually one of the kids, or is he like a, an elf in the Santa Claus? This doesn't feel right. Don't overthink it. Yeah, but it's... No. Trust your instincts, Grover. Trust your instincts. I lost your pen sword thingy. Check your pocket. Uh... Is it like a boomerang or something? Does it come back? Unless you surrender it, it will always find its way back to you. Cool. Well, when do I get claimed? Your father might claim you tomorrow. It, it might be... Never. Aww. That's so sad. There is a place for you. Here. The miscellaneous house? Hermes, god of travelers. Huh, is okay. Home to both his own children and the unclaimed. Aww. That's nice. 
you want to give me a hard time, just do it tomorrow. I can't do any more today. Aww. Heard what happened to you on the hill, and I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Do we trust this? Please be genuine. Please be genuine, please. I'm Luke. Oh dear. Huh? Huh? Percy. Kids are mean, I'm scared. Okay, please, please be genuine. I hope it's genuine. <laughs> This is what I get for going straight from Gen V into Percy Jackson. <laughs> I'm so jaded about teenagers. Where are you off to? Where? Where you be sneaking? Oh, oh, hello, person that w I, what the? Tree person? Tree woman? Mother Teresa? You're too hard on yourself, Grover. You always have been. <laughs> Okay, so he's not a kid. Just eternally youthful. Oh. That's not ominous. Don't be nervous. Into the fiery pit? I'm sorry, I'd be nervous if I was going into a fiery pit, and I'd be even more nervous if someone told me not to be nervous. Oh, goodness. The production value on this show, this is just so beautiful! Ah! Oh. Oh. It's like a tribunal or something? Mm. I'm gonna call him Sweater Vest, because there's a lot of names happening. Sorry to interrupt. Is now an okay time to talk? No! Yes. Okay, what happened at the tribunal? Why did, why did we? It's Sally Jackson. I think I know what really happened to her. I've never seen a Minotaur crush a human to death, but I assume that they'd get really squishy. Or something, or like, <gasps> like, an, like an old banana, maybe. But she evaporated like a monster would. Yeah, humans don't do that. I, I went to the Cloven Council and they had actually heard of this happening before. Oh. But when a mortal is really close to death, Hades himself can actually reach out and- Yes, we know. Okay. But doesn't he deserve to know the truth? The truth can be very dangerous if it isn't handled carefully. Yeah, but- I don't want to lie to him anymore. There are powerful forces at work here, boy. So you don't want to lie to your little friend? Too bad. Okay, Derek. You will say nothing. Do you understand? Does he? Does he? God, this is so pretty. Everything about this is just so pretty. Ooh, glowy light. Okay, he saw a glowy light with the lantern with the Dementor thing. And then they had that massive, massive glowy light in the- I left you here. The mentor thingy. Left you with nothing. What in the Voldemort? I recognize that voice. We all have them, you know. Recurring nightmares, that's normal here. Huh. And ADHD. <laughs> that's what I said. Why do they get to bring us here to just ignore some of us? Because they're gods. Spend too much time trying to figure out why the gods do whatever it is they do. You'll drive yourself crazy. Ha! <laughs> Truer words. So they leave you alone because glory. So if I get glory, Clarice won't mess with me either? In theory. And my dad's got no choice but to claim me. Ah. That is a strategy. Make them notice you. Be so good they can't ignore you. I wanted to. <laughs> it's a Bic lighter! They literally have a Bic lighter at Camp Half-Blood! <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn ya! Should I try again? No! <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I did tell you I'd never done this before. He's gotta find your skill, hun. Is it gonna go flying? Is it gonna go flying? Okay, okay, okay. Run, run, run. Quickly. We're gonna find the thing that you're good at. I know it. I really wanna like him, but I'm, I'm, I just, I'm, I don't trust anybody. Ever. They like the smell of begging. Uh. You burn what you'll miss the most, and they know you really mean what you're about to say, so they listen. Twisted. Oh, what are you, he's gonna burn his candy? What was it about him burning marshmallows in the last episode? I just realized Douche Nozzle's not getting his card back, and that makes me weirdly happy. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. The glow, that recurring warm glow. I love this. The glowing light, it's hope. I think 
I've made some friends here. I hope so. Like, real friends. I hope so. I think they might really like me. I hope so. I really, really hope so, kid. Ignoring me is one thing, but he doesn't get to ignore you. You're a good son. Yep. Disrespect me, but don't disrespect my mother. Good kid. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. Oh, 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 yep. Hazing? Hey guys. Yep, hazing! Every new kid shows up here and they think they're special. I mean, he... I mean, he did kill a minotaur. Just saying. Tell me you made it all up about the Minotaur, and I'll let you go. No! I have a trophy to prove it! Some kids gotta learn the hard way. Are you gonna give him a swirly? So apparently demigod children are just as big as sh as human ones. Oh! explain <laughs> wait I know you no you don't you were there you insulted me well I've been waiting to see if something like this would happen so I know if you can help me okay help you do what win capture the flag <laughs> I sense a competitive child Did I find the cutest kids whose side are you on anyway oh hers always She's my little sister. Aw. Wait. Hermes? Athena? A long time ago, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades agreed their children were becoming too powerful, so they made a pact not to father anymore. Zeus made that pact? Zeus broke that pact. That sounds right. But Annabeth and me, mm -hmm. and we've been family ever since. I like that. Chiron's been promising her for years. One day, a demigod would arrive who was fated to go on a quest that even Chiron couldn't prevent. Ah. The Chosen One. But what if she's right? Touché. Honey, you want to be friends with the smart one. She's the Hermione of this universe. You want to be friends with her. The first team and return across the river shall be the victor. This is the coolest game of Capture the Flag ever. <laughs> Red versus blue. You have 20 minutes before the second conch and game one. You know what you're doing? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Today feel like a winning kind of day to you? Hell yeah. I like her. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> I'm getting Okoye glaring at Bruce Banner vibes. Okay. I get it. You're better at this than me. She's not gonna deny that. Aww. You still don't get where you fit into all this, do you? No, he doesn't. Literally. Game on. <laughs> Dems oh, shh. What? Oh, sh You'll do great. Do great? Do what? Great. Figure it out. You've been thrown in at the deep end, you'll figure it out. They keep cutting like they're gonna go to commercial. This is so trippy. Are they planning to syndicate this somewhere? Oh my god! Like, I know this is all in good fun, but these are children. Oh my god! Percy's on it. When it's time, he's gonna be ready. Oh my god, we flossing. That's it. That's a whole lot of trust in someone who's. <laughs> oh, this bench. This girl. Flag's that way. It's not here. We know. We're not here for the flag. Revenge is more fun. Something tells me it's gonna be a dish served cold. No maiming. It's like the one rule. Yeah, she didn't care. Sweetie, who hurt you? I mean, probably your 
God, parent, but seriously. I just want you to admit you're a fraud. No. Are you feeling up to that yet? Uh, no, we stand up to bullies. And that is what you are. Come on, kid. Oh, dip! Come on, kid. Wait, he's by the water. They're by the water. Water, water, water. That a boy. You pick it up. Hey, duck and roll. He's picking it up quick. Water. So much water in this shot. So much water everywhere. Oh my god. Look at you go, kid. No! I mean, all's fair. All's fair in war. Hey! Bravo. Oh, it's a nice little shiner you got there, hun. Was she just standing watching the entire time? Were you here the whole time? Yeah, I wanted to see what you do. Yes. <laughs> Percy. I'm sorry. She's trying to get you to use your water. She's trying to get you angry or scared or something. <gasps> ah, water. <gasps> Poseidon? Poseidon. Yep, yep, yeah. Heads the blue everywhere. The blue eyes, the blue shirt, the blue everything. Yep. Your dad's calling. Your dad's calling. You've been claimed. As a forbidden child of the sea god, you are singular amongst demigods. Oh, so you mean I get this whole place to myself? I've been locked in a dispute over the Master Bolt, the symbol of Zeus's authority. Lightning. And it has been stolen. Lightning thief. Who stole it? You did. Say what now? It doesn't look good for you, kid. Uh... An ultimatum that if he doesn't return the bolts in one week... Oh. There will be war. Nobody wants that. You must leave immediately. Leave for where? Literally just got here. There is a third brother who has always deeply resented them both. Hades? It's Hades. Yeah. I'm catching up. <laughs> the bolt is with Hades in the underworld. Fun. You are his son. I am Sally Jackson's son. Hmm. Who's Sally Jackson? My mommy, so shut the fuck up! Grover? I'm sorry, sir, but I have news. Hmm? Sally Jackson is alive. Called it! Called it. Grover. Your mother was stolen in the underworld. That's where they want you to go to, isn't it? Yeah. If you can find her there, I think you can bring her back. What's the catch? What's what what what's the catch here? And why didn't they want him to know that his mother is in the underworld if they want him to go to the underworld? When do we leave? What am I missing? <laughs> when do we start? Okay. All right, Percy Jackson, another excellent episode. The reviews weren't wrong. I'm really curious to read the actual reviews now because I've seen several headlines praising this series, but I didn't want to read anything until I actually watched it. I am really impressed already. We're two episodes in. I am so impressed. Again, one, just the production value. My God, this show is beautiful. <laughs> it's just so everything. So well done. Also, they found some of the cutest kids. These are like the little hobbits cute. They're like that level of cute. The little... Gah! They're just... They're so adorable. I'm sorry. Him and Annabeth. They are just some of the cutest forking kids. Also, great actors. There are some really, really incredible performances in this already. Not just from the kids, but a lot of the last episode especially um between him and his mom we held on her a lot we were either holding on her face or in the very first shot we actually didn't see her face at all which is really interesting when she was telling him about perseus my first thought went to um the mayor's secretary in powerpuff girls how like you never see her face but i thought that was really interesting that that entire time she's talking but we don't actually see her face we're only holding on him and that could just be a deliberate choice if he's the protagonist but I don't know, I found that really interesting and then later we would hold on her face so much and that was very much foreshadowing if she knew what was there. That's really interesting. Either way, the performances are great. Like, I'm really impressed with the kids. I think I trust the tall one, the son of Hermes, um, 
whose name I can't remember. I think I trust him. I think I like him. I think because he and Annabeth are really close, I think we like him. I have literally been watching Gen V for weeks now, and I think I'm just so jaded and terrified <laughs> of anyone, like, manipulating or anything happening to these kids. I just don't trust it. It's terrifying to me. I don't trust anything. But I am thoroughly enjoying this so far. This is so much fun, and I can absolutely see why this story, as a book, if this is an accurate adaptation, because I've seen several posts and sort of headlines kind of praising the accuracy of this adaptation, so if you guys don't tell me otherwise, I'm going to assume that this is fairly accurate. But I can absolutely see why this was so popular and why kids would love this. I mean, obviously, it's the chosen one story. It's the relatable kid who's been bullied finding out that he's special and that there's an entire world where he gets to be his best self. Like, that's obviously the kind of thing that we as kids relate to and we love. And there's a reason stories like Percy Jackson and Harry Potter are so popular. But it's also just like, I can imagine a kid at summer camp dreaming up a camp like this. So I could imagine Rick Riordan at summer camp as a kid or maybe taking his kids to summer camp or something. But I can just imagine someone with that vivid imagination just having the time of their life dreaming up something like that from a summer camp. But yeah, everything from the visuals to the performances, the writing, everything about this is really, really good. And I'm excited to keep going. So I am definitely planning on continuing this. I'm definitely going to keep doing reactions to this because this is a lot of fun. So I hope you guys join me. And of course, you know the drill. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Percy Jackson. Are you a fan of the adaptation? Were you a fan of the original books? What are your thoughts so far? I'd love to know. Redder is better. So hit what may or may not be a big red subscribe button, depending on your browser. And check me out on Patreon for the full length version of this reaction, as well as all of my other content. If you're curious what's available there, I have teasers for all of my Patreon exclusives in YouTube shorts. And check me out on Instagram and my other socials, which are linked down in the description. I think that's all we need to cover. So on that note, I'll see you guys next week for episode three.